Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. Um, I'm now answering question number four from the June 2021 Pure Mathematics P2 um, International A-Level at Excel exam. And this question is about binomial expansion. So we want to expand 2 plus x over 8 to the power of 13 up to and including the term in x cubed and um, fully simplifying each coefficient. That's part A. Now, in order to do this in P2, where you're only dealing with positive integer powers, a very simple method is to use the NCR button in your calculator to work out the main coefficient. And it's pretty easy to set up. So we have basically three kind of big brackets here. That, that's how I always set it up. And the main power is 13. So this is going to start with 13 and 0. Then I have my 2 here and my x over 8 here. Then I see I want the x in um, ascending powers of x. So I'll start this one from 0. Therefore, this one has to start from 13. These two numbers must always add up to 13. One of them has to start from 0. The other one has to start from the highest power, which is 13. So as we want ascending powers of x, this is going to keep increasing. So I have to start from the lowest from 0 for this one, and therefore 13 for the other one. Okay, that's how you deal with it. And then what happens is these brackets, this is for the first term. This will be for the second term. This is where you have x over 8 to the power of 1 and 2 to the power of 12. And this will be 13 and this will be 1. So this number keeps increasing by 1. This one here stays the same. These two will always add up to 13. So this one increases, this one decreases. This one is 13 and you put 1 here. Okay, so that's... This will tell you the main coefficient and then this will tell you um, you know what each of those terms is going to be when you expand them and then you have 13 and you have 2 and this will be 2 to the power of this time will be 11 and this will be x over 8 to the power of 2. This one keeps going down this one keeps going up this will be ascending powers of x you see and then you have 13 and 3 and this will be 2 to the power of 10 and this will be x over 8 to the power of 3. So it's quite a simple little expansion here. So now what we're going to do is we are going to, let me just bring this up here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to um, find out what these values are. Now, um, for NCR, when you have like um, zero there, whatever number zero, like 13C0, it'll always give you one. And 13C1 um, will always give you um, 13. It will give you that number. So if it's 5C1, it will be five. Anything C0 will be one. Okay, so that, that's for those two. Then you got times two to the power of 13 and times X over eight to the power of zero, which is times one. So this will be just two to the power of 13. 2 to the power of 13, so 2 to the power of 13, which gives you 8,192. So that's 8,192. That's the first term. Then you've got 13 times 2 to the power of 12 times x over 8. So I can just put that in my calculator as 13 times uh, 2 to the power of 12 Um then divided by 8, that gives me 6,656. So that'll be 6,000, um, what was it? 6,656. And that will be your x term. And then you're going to have 13c2. So for that, I'm going to use this calculator button, calculator button 13. Now, this NCR is this one above the division sign. So I press shift, NCR, and 2. It's 13c2. That gives me 78, so you're going to have 78 times 2 to the power of 11 times x squared over 8 squared, which is 64. Okay, so that will give me 78 times 2 to the power of 11 and divided by 64, which is 8 squared. So you have 2,496 x squared. So 2,496x squared. And finally, you have 13C3. 13C3. That gives us 286. And you have times 2 to the power of 10 times x cubed over 8 cubed. So I'll just put that in the calculator now. 
So I have 286 times 2 to the power of 10. And all of that divided by 8 cubed. 8 cubed. Okay, and that gives us 572. 572 x cubed. So I can say now that the expansion of 2 plus x over 13, sorry, x over 8 to the power of 13, to the power of 13 is equal to 8192 plus 6656 x plus 2496x squared plus 572x cubed. That's up to the x cubed term. So there we have our expansion of this expression, and that's part A completed. And now for part B, it says use the answer to part A to find an approximation for 2.0125 to the power of 13. Give your answer to three decimal places. So I've got the answer to part A here. We've got to use this answer to find an approximation for this expansion. So basically, if you notice what we have here, this is something. You have 2 plus x over 8, all to the power of 13. And this is 2.0125 to the power of 13. So if I find out what x value will cause this expression to be equal to 2.0125, and you know I use that x value to substitute into this expression, it should give me approximation for this value because when x is equal to whatever makes this equal to that that x value put into here will give us an approximation for this so let's find what x value makes this equation true so i've got to subtract 2 so 2.0125 minus 2 is 0 0.0125 and then i've got to multiply this by 8 so i end up with 0 0.0125 sorry 0. 0, 1, 2, 5, and I've got to multiply that by 8, and that gives me 0. Point, uh, gives me 1 over 10, which is 0. 0.1. So I've got to substitute x equals 0. 0.1 into this expression. So I have 8192 plus 6656 times 0. 0.1 plus 2496 times 0. 0.1 squared plus 572 times 0 0.1 cubed okay and that will hopefully that will give us our approximation so we can say that um 2.2.0125 to the power of 13 is approximately equal to this so let's just put that in our calculator so we have 8192 plus 6,656 times 0 0.1. Let's just basically move back one decimal place. Plus 2,496 times, um, I'll do it like this, times 0 0.1 squared. And you're going to have plus 572 times 0 0.1 cubed. And that gives us 883.132. So 8883.132. To three decimal places, well, that is three decimal places. So there we have the answer um, to that part of the question. Okay, now for part C. It says, without calculating 2.0125 to the power of 13, state with a reason whether the answer to part, to part B is an overestimate or an underestimate. Okay, now what we've done here is we've used the expansion only up to x cubed. This expansion could go all the way up to x to the power of 13. And all of the terms have got like a plus between them because this is 2 plus x over 8, all positive. So you'll have plus some term to the x to the power of 4, plus some term to x to the power of 5, plus some term to the x to the power of 6, all the way to some term to the power of x to the power of 13. So all these terms are missing from the expansion. So if we were to substitute 0 0.1 into all of these terms, although their value will be really small, because if you raise 0, .0, 0 0.1 sorry, to the power of 4 or to the power of 5, 
six. It's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And what it multiplies is going to be so small, it won't make that much difference to the total, but it will make some difference to the total. It will, it will all these terms that we have left out when we only used it up to the x cubed term, all the subsequent terms are now missing. So therefore, our answer here is a underestimate, not by much, but it is definitely an underestimate. And we can kind of confirm that this is an underestimate, okay, um, as you mentioned, by actually checking the real value of this expression. So if we take this expression, 2.0125, okay, and we raise it to the power of 13, we will see that we get almost the same. It's almost exactly the same in, in up to the first decimal place. It's the same, 8883.1, 8883.1. But then you have three here and a four here. So this is less. It's an underestimate, as we can see. Right? So we confirmed by calculation, by looking at the difference between the actual value and our estimated value, we're sure. Surely we have an underestimate. So we know it's an underestimate. Okay, so that's... Let me just... Spell that correctly. An underestimate. And the reason why it's an underestimate, as we mentioned, is because there's two things we can say that the the expansion is cut short, is is uh, shortened to up to only an x cubed, is shortened to terms up to x cubed all right so we can say therefore the terms from x to the power of 4 all the way to x to the power of 13 are missing those are all missing and secondly very important that all the terms are positive all the terms are positive okay so if we leave out terms which are positive from our expansion, of course our expansion is going to be less than as if we included them. So if we included all the terms, we would have got exactly the same value as this, as it showed in the calculator, because we've left out some terms which are positive terms. So we've left, left out the terms x to the power 4, x to the power 5, x to the power 6, so 0 .0, 0 0.1, uh, you know, to the power of uh, 4, to the power of 5, to the power of 6. Th those terms, we're gonna, we would have added them so it would have been more than what it is, but we've left them out because if you know they're positive terms that we're leaving out, therefore our estimate is going to be an underestimate. Okay, so that's what we should state there. And that concludes this question, uh, which is question number four from the June 2021 International A-Level LXL Pure Mathematics P2 paper. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this section over here. You'll click on there to get to the playlist for this paper to find questions dealing with binomial expansion. Okay, um, from P2, you can click on the playlist that will appear in this region over here. To subscribe to my channel, you can click on the link that will appear in this region. And also, if you want to watch a video which sh uh, explains how you can find what you need from my channel in an efficient manner, this video here, that the link for which will show up over here, will tell you how to navigate my channel in an efficient manner. Thank you for watching and see you soon.